Hey, what's going on? It's wood burning time. David here, welcome to the channel. In our next video here, we're gonna be doing the wood burning on this carving. So, so far we have the squirrel, we have the owl, we have the mushroom house, we got some caves, we have the lizard, we have the vine with the leaves, and we have a flower in the back here. So I have videos on each of those carvings. If you missed those or haven't seen those yet, uh, check out in the description below. I'll have links to those videos. I'll leave a playlist up at the top here. And uh, let's get to this wood burning. So I'm going to use a couple of these tips to see which works better. Um, I've got this round ball one. I'm going to use that for the background here of the squirrel and in the owl. And just do some texturing um, dimples and feel it out, see what works best doing these rocks and bricks, stones, undercutting. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do in this video, wood burning, and hopefully we can get to some painting. So I hope you guys enjoy the videos, and let's get to it. All right, so we're gonna start with the owl. I'm gonna use this little ball tip and do some texturing dimples all the way around. All right, so let's heat this thing up. Make sure you're going to go ahead and use this tip here and do the outline first. That'll probably help. Do the undercut all the way around. So uh, yeah, let's get that done first. So that's the stippling there on the owl background. Pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna do the uh, squirrel now. And then I'm gonna do this caves, color those in all burnt. All right, so I'll be back in a couple of hours. <laughs> All right, 100 hours later, we got this part here done. Put up here done. And I started on the door here and some of the rocks. And I did some here, some spots on the lizard. So let's keep going. Just burning on. Burning on, burning on. So here on the mushroom house I added some boars peeking through to show like damage to the outside of the mushroom. We got all these rocks here. I'm gonna darken in this little cave here and this one down here. This here would be the window. Gotta do some bricks around that. Then I'll get to the squirrel and the owl going around all the vines and leaves and flower. And I'll come back a little bit and show you the squirrel and the owl. Some of the lizard. Here, so you can get the lizard eye here. Let's get his mouth. So let me get a lot of this done and then I'll come back to show you guys where we're at. Alrighty. Alright guys, so now I switched some of these tips. I got this flat rounder one. And I have this pointier flat one. I'm going to work on the flower here. Just getting in underneath. Getting in all the lines. 
I've got to finish this leaf here and this uh, vine going inside. All right, let's mask up. So there's the flower. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this off camera. I'll come back and do some of the owl and the squirrel. Uh, finish off the lizard. Alrighty guys, so we're getting there, almost there. So we'll be right back. So I got the flower here, I outlined the rest of the vines and the leaves. I'm gonna go ahead and put some texture in the center of the flower using this little ball ball tip let's just do some stippling just do it just like that stippling making that nice little effect so pretty much just how i did the background of the owl and squirrel just with a bigger ball tip All right so now let's use this tip here and do the owl and the squirrel with all the texture of the fur and the hairs and the feathers and the eyeballs all right so let's do it So time for paint. All the wood burning is completed. That wood burner, it's okay. I'm not liking it so much. It doesn't keep the, the heat on it very long. So I may look into getting another one. But it was good for now. So now we're going to paint this. Just want to give it some color and then I'll probably stain on top of it. So let's start with this mushroom house. I'm gonna do like a red, the mushroom top, this little mushroom coming on the side. So I'm just using some cheap paint, acrylic paints. Get this going. So it's just Car Rob always says, it's the dreaded paint video. I won't bore you guys to death, I'll just show here and there. So let's get this mushroom top here. All right, so let me just get that rest of it done and then I'll come back. All right, so I got the red on and I did some of these boards, a little bit brown. And I did the, the door which added some brown to the same red. Now I'm gonna work on this mushroom stem. I'm gonna do it, try to do it like a peach color. And then I'll put some white uh, spots in the circles. Okay, I'll be right back when that is completed. All right, here we go. So the next step is going to be the stones and the rocks. So I'm going to do different shades of gray. I'm going to do all these steps here. So let me mix up that gray up and test it out and see which color is going to work the best. All right, here we go. All right, so I did some darkness in the inside parts and doing some dry brushing. Then I'm going to go in with some lighter grays. 
just dib dab, dib dip dab dab. All right, you guys get the idea. So let me go ahead, get all these bricks and stones painted. All right, we'll be right back with the stones completed. All right. The mushroom house is completed. All right. Got the effect on the rocks and stones. There we go. So now we're gonna move on to the lizard. I'm gonna give him some cool looking colors. Here we go, lizard is completed. leaves. Ooh, squirrel time. All right, so I got some white belly on here. I'm gonna mix up some gray, some browns, and get this guy painted up. Here we go, the squirrel came alive. Pretty cool. Alright, so got that guy completed. Let's head up to the owl. Hoot hoot. Let's get the eyes in first. I'm gonna do a yellow. I'm gonna go ahead and finish painting this guy. Hoot hoot. Alrighty, the painting is just about done. We got this guy. Got a squirrel. And we got the owl. And I went ahead and did the flower. Here it is, the flower. And I started to stain the bare wood with the walnut stain. Trying to carefully get it in there. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna do some of the back dark areas. This one, uh, probably down here. Uh, probably some of this. Um, probably this part here. And then this, I'm gonna maybe use Danish oil. So here we go so far with the walnut stain. All right, you can see what I'm doing here. Just trying to get in the dark, the back part of the uh, the carving and walnut stain, and then these vines here. I may use the Danish oil. So we'll find out in a little bit. So let me get this rest of this all done. All right, so I decided to use the Danish oil, and here's some of it on there. I'm just gonna brush it all on this piece. I'm gonna wipe it down right now, and then add some more. So this is coming out real nice. So let's get this done. All right, let me just get this finished. Get this all put on there. All right, so the finish is dried. Now I'm gonna work on making a base for this. So I'm gonna have this like screwed on. I'll like carve this and decorate it. I have a little piece over here. I'll probably just make it like a, like a rectangle or something. So I'm gonna just quickly do that and end this video with it all done. All right. guys here it is all finished tree branch carving 
all stained, finished, painted. Here you go with the base. Check that out. So I'll have it out here in my living room. Nice piece here to have out here. Yep. So thank you guys for watching the videos. I'll leave the link to the playlist so you can check out all the videos if you missed any. Whoa, there it is. The flower in the back. Ready? Sign your pieces. Alright guys. Please like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, share, and as always, I'll catch you later. Bye bye! Hoot hoot!